All right, Sooner Nation. Well, after a hard-fought victory over Iowa State, now the Sooners prepare for the Baylor Bears at the Oklahoma Sooners uh, for Military Appreciation Day at Owen Field with the Sooners and the Baylor Bears. Sooners looking for revenge over the Baylor Bears. First time you've been able to say that in Oklahoma Sooner history. Now that, pretty impressive. We'll tell you who's calling the revenge game, plus so much more as we get you through the pregame for Oklahoma and Baylor. <laughs> All right, well, here goes this one. It is the Baylor Bears and the Oklahoma Sooners. Calling the game will be Steve Pisonic, J.C. Pierce, and Laura McKeeman. They called the UTEP game for the first game of the regular season for the Sooners. Uh, things to know about this team in Baylor uh, that on the road, the Baylor Bears have put up points in the Big 12. 70 at West Virginia, 56 against Texas, and 21 against oh, Iowa State. The uh, 21 against Iowa State, that's pretty impressive too, just in the fact that they play defense, and we all know how well they play defense uh, as far as Oklahoma is concerned. Uh, last year's score... Of course, the Waco in Waco, the Baylor Bears upset the University of Oklahoma on the arm and on the feet of the Heisman Trophy winner, Robert Griffin the third, 45 to 38 in Waco. For Art Barrow's biggest win in the Sioux Stoops era was, of course, 2011, 45 to 38, first ever win over Oklahoma. Biggest win for Stoops in the Stoops era is the 37-30 uh, to 30 win in 08 over Baylor. That was an instant classic for Oklahoma Sooner fans. Um, my thoughts on the game or on the opposing team is that uh, Baylor is in a good position right now with the new stadium setting up um, in a pretty good conference. Here's the fact. Oklahoma and Texas are not going to get all the recruits. As much as we would love them to get all the recruits out of South Texas, not going to happen. Some of them are going to go to Texas A&M. Some of them are going to go to TCU. And heaven forbid, some of them might even go to Baylor. Uh, it's fun to play in that Air 8 offense. And their football stadium is supposed to be moving to a, more of a centrifugal location Right now, it's a lot like what you have here in Norman with the Lloyd Noble Center compared to the rest of the university. But now they're going to try to uh, centra centrally locate that football field into the Waco Baylor uh, facility, which would be awesome to see. Uh, conference titles for Baylor, they have zero as far as the Big 12 is concerned. Oklahoma has the one in 08, 02, 03, 04. 06, 07, 08, no 10. Zero division championships for Baylor. Conference titles, I'm sorry. Oklahoma has the one in two, 2000 over Kansas State in Kansas City. The one in 20, 2002 over Colorado. That one was played in San Antonio. 04 over Colorado, once again in Kansas City. 06 over Nebraska in Kansas City. 07 in San Antonio over Missouri. 08 in Kansas. 
07 in San Antonio over Missouri, 08 in Kansas City over Missouri, and 2010 in Dallas over Nebraska. Bowl games for Art Bryles. Uh, at Baylor and at Houston, he's one for four. Uh, he did get the one win, 56-67 to 67 win over Washington last year. Uh, Oklahoma is 7-6 in 13 years under Bob Stoops. That same year that they got the big win, 56-37 over Washington. Oklahoma beat Iowa, 31-14. Um, injuries on this on the uh, Baylors and on the Sooners, respectively. On Baylor, it's K.J. Morton out with a groin injury. He's the safety. Demontre Goodson, the defensive back, out with an arm injury. And Keron Johnson, the defensive tackle, out with a back injury. As far as the Sooners... Of course, Nila Kasatati out with a knee injury still. Uh, Marshall Munsell out with a knee injury. Tyler Evans out with a knee injury. Taylor McNamara out with the shoulder. Trey Franks, Quentin Hayes, and Jazz Reynolds still suspended. And Bronson Irwin out with a knee. Three keys for this team. Keep the balance. Keep the balance with Oklahoma. Run and pass. Baylor is not a good defensive club, but you can't just swing it all over the yard because you can. You have to try to keep your balance, much like you did last week with Iowa State. Uh, defensively, you have to be ready from start to finish. Baylor loves to score points, no matter what the score is. They love to score points. They love to spread it out and go, so you have to be ready for that. And finally, on special teams, help Tress. You got it down the ball at the 20-yard line. You have to do that. Or you could be in trouble because of the way that Baylor spreads you out. This is your Oklahoma Sooner pregame show for Oklahoma and Baylor. I'll have a postgame show coming up and so much more. This has been the pregame show for the Oklahoma Sooners and the Baylor Bears. <laughs>